What's cracking YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton trend. Right, gang gang, chappy chaps, Hoxton heads. I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to spot a <clears throat> fake, Canada, fake Canada goose to a real one. Now I found this one on eBay right here, you can see it. I wish I can give you the jokes because they even gave me, um, I got this jacket from eBay, it was like 69 pound. They were trying to par it off as a fake and the funny thing is they sent me a little receipt with um, Debenhams on it and it didn't even have any Canada Goose details on there or nothing it was just a plain Debenhams receipt but I think they were trying to fool the person who was going to buy it in thinking that it's it's genuine by, by sharing the receipt they don't even sell Canada Goose in Debenhams man so these are the type of tricks that people are doing on eBay to try and fool people but guys don't worry let me show you real quickly how to spot the difference between these two and if this fake gets out of hand I've got Mr. Baseball back here old school he's gonna mash up the fakes in case it tries a little ting yeah so let's let's crack in man let's crack in this is the Canada Goose that I got from Selfridges it's the Canada Goose what's it called again I can't even remember yo the Maitland that's it so this is the Canada Goose Maitland first thing that we're gonna look on in the jackets and the first thing that I advise you guys to do is to look inside your jacket and you should see a little pocket label like this okay all genuine Canada Gooses are going to come with all these types of labels here now what I've noticed is the newer Canada Gooses seem to come with the labels all stacked on top of each other like this it even has a little hologram there that you can see and it's all stacked together like that on some of the older Canada Gooses I've noticed that you might get the labels here and then this label might be on the side here and then this label might be even further down, so it's like in a row, but the newer ones are all on top of each other, and we've got a little pouch in there, so you can just tuck that in, and um, it kind of holds all the labels um, nicely and neatly into one place. If we look over at the fake guys, you don't even have that, you can see that there's no, um, there's no labels here. I have seen um, fake Canada Gooses coming with the labels, um, like how it was on the original, but it's coming in a row, so I have seen those, on some of the counterfeits but the the thing is is that the hologram is not it doesn't sparkle it doesn't really shine it's not really a hologram it's just a um, silver um, silver sheet of paper you can see this one here you can see it's just this label here and this is a label that a lot of the counterfeiters use it's just a simple label um, I wouldn't even trust any of the um, information here it says polyester but who knows who knows remember I told you guys before that some of these guys were using duck feathers from um, Illegit illegitimate sources and sometimes these duck feathers can carry things like bacteria and I was reading an article that was saying that people are actually getting ill from wearing counterfeit jackets so imagine that the other thing as well is if you look at the sizing system here it just says large clearly that's incorrect any of you guys that have seen a Canada Goose or if you've got one you can see that the label should actually be just like that guys okay it should be like this it should have um, a double M two M's or two L's or two XL's I believe just like this, so you can see the double M there. Um, you can see the logo there, the Canada Goose. It's white, it's got the um, the leaves going around the side there. But if you look at this, you can see that it's not white around the sides and it, it, the stitching is not very good. If we kind of lift it up, you can see that the stitching is really bad and the stuff is even coming apart in my hand. So that's not a very good sign. You can see the bars that they've actually got it not too bad. You can see right there, but if you look at the gap in between the badge here, you can see that's quite far the gap in between there and the gap in between there is quite close so they haven't got it perfect also if you look closely on the original Canada Goose you can see that there are some kind of you can see the white bit in the background it's, there's some lines that are going across diagonally but if you look here it's more like dots it's more like dots there guys so you can kind of I'll hold it up there so you can see so you can see this one's got lines going across and this one's just got some dots there okay it's one of the um, quickest ways that you can spot. Again, I have, I think I have seen YKK. I mean, I think I have seen Canada Goose with some YKK zips, um, the counterfeit ones. That's the Vizla YKK zip there on the original. And if we look on the counterfeit, you can see it's, it's trying to copy another zip. It says 8VS, so it's, it's not Vizla on YKK. So that's incorrect, guys. That shouldn't even be like that, okay? That's not like that at all. One of the other things that I noticed on the um, Canada Goose jacket, you do get a little engraving inside of the, the button studs there as well. You can see there's a little engraving there. I can't really work out what it says. I think it says Universe, Universal SW61. You'll find this on the original Canada Goose. But if you look on this counterfeit one here, you can see it's just a plain stud. They haven't even put any engraving there. So that's another way to tell as well, is to always check the studs. Um, 
on the back of the poppers right there you usually you'll usually find those overall as well if you just kind of look at the general quality of the jacket it doesn't look very good the um, the camo material it doesn't really feel nice it does I'm not even convinced that there's any down in here. It's probably just a polyester down. The real Canada Goose is using real down insulation on the inside. If you feel this jacket and then feel this jacket here, you can see that the quality is, is not very good. If you look on the pocket on the inside of the jacket as well, you can see they've actually put in the fabric there, which is actually meant to be on the original there as well. So if you put your hand in there, that would dry you off. Now, the, the original does have that as well. The fabric does feel a lot finer than that look even got the tag from where i bought it from canada goose from <coughs> from selfridges but you can see that it's a lot more finer the inside here the material while this one is a little bit more thick and brushed this one here so that's that's another way for you to look out so that's it guys i hope that's going to be helpful for you guys trying to spot some fake canada gooses i have got, actually got some um uh, two Stone Island jackets that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a fake versus real for you guys and showing you what those are saying, okay? So that's it, man. Hope you enjoyed the episode. The last thing we're going to do now, real quick, is give this fake a good old fashioned beating, man. East London Star. So that's it, yo. I'll catch you lot in a bit. Peace out.